Today we're reviewing a Ghanaian movie titled Somewhere in Africa, directed by Frank Raja Arase, a film that takes us on a journey of political and uh, military happenings in a certain fictitious country in West Africa called Kimbala. Kimbala was indeed a land of hope, a land of dreams, a land of bells and treasures, a land of freedom. So now let's go into the good, the bad and the ugly. I mean, the acting was very believable, right from the teenagers who played the, the roles of students in the high school. Everybody acted like they had like they've been through proper acting school and they understand how to bring out the emotions and how to carry out a character. I've never seen such good acting in any movie till date. This is gross insubordination. I think if we want to be treated as animals. No more No more No more The editing was fantastic. I'll say brilliant. I mean, we're used to seeing movies edited in such a way that there's so many scenes that should be cut off, but then they leave them lingering just to add time, you know, like people opening doors and closing doors. None of that in this. First, we begin a calculative propaganda. Take out the veil. Pull off the blindfold. Turn the eyes and the ears of the world to the unheard wailing of the people of Kimbala. Now let's go to the ugly. The first one I noticed was a scene where Majid Michael's character Frank leaves his boss's office and goes to make a call to his girlfriend to tell her, you know, he, he's going to be late for an appointment. And the phone, which was supposedly a landline, wasn't connected at all. There was no wire in, you know, the right port where it should be. The general is making a cool statement, and all the mic cubes are obviously created with cardboard, with badly written, you know, handwriting with, card, uh, you know, markers. On that basis, therefore, and in accordance with the provisions of the supreme ruling council, which has just been inaugurated, I hereby order the immediate arrest. Intelligent acting, intelligent script, intelligent directing, brilliant editing. Because of this, I'll give it a 75%. Ciao. 